Hello, welcome back to 3D Draw Entry Model Railway and episode 3 of the long worded rail train that we're working on. In today's episode, I'm going to start to add some of the commonality details to the side of the wagon here. Um, and just working through some of the photos, we've got to add these details in that we can mirror across as the wagon becomes a complete unit. So, looking at photos, the first thing we're going to look at drawing with the commonality things are, are these lifting lugs for the wagon so when they replace the bogies they can lift them these points so we're going to jump into fusion these are all center uh, they're all in the center of the bogies so we're going to jump to fusion and we're going to turn the uh, canvas on and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a construction plane so i'm going to get an offset plane i'm going to go from the in the outside of the turn the construction back on because that's why it's throwing that error up. I'm going to go from the end of the wagon and I'm going to bring this across to where the center point of the bogey is. That's approximately 19.5 millimeters in from the end there. And looking on this sketch it's from center point to the end of the head sock is 2600 millimeters so that makes that another easy one to work out. So we could do 2600 divided by 1 for 8. Let's pull that all the way up here. So let's edit that. Let's delete that. So we're going to actually, I'm going to just remove that and do start again. If we do uh, a minus 2600 divided by 1 by 8. And you can see that's not going to put that anywhere near where we want it based on the drawing. So I'm just going to bring that to 19.5 millimeters. Minus 19.5 millimeters will put it roughly where we need it. Some of these drawings, you know, they're clearly they're not going to all match up. So um, I'm going to work off of this one. Anything else can match around that. So we're going minus 19.5 mil. And if we turn those back on, that's going to be in the centre of that bogey. Unfortunately, I don't have any close up drawings or photos of this, so we're going to work from this photograph and try and draw this shape as best we can. So, I'm going to create a sketch on that offset plane we've just created, and then I'm going to slice through the wagon until we get to that point so that we can see the inside of the frame here. Zooming in, I'm going to then project on these lines and points here, and then we can use those to constrain our drawing with. So, first thing is I'm going to just draw a rectangle in there to fill that hole in because, as you see, that's a solid plate that fits in there. Then we've got to try and work out this, a radius of this arc here. And the distance out that we want to come. So I'm going to draw a line, I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to go for about 0.6 millimeters, I think. It might be a bit longer actually. Let's go 0.75. So what I'm thinking is, so how big does this look? And I'm thinking it's probably five or six inches across there. So that's where I'm coming up with that, this number. I'm going to draw a diagonal line that comes down to that point. Do that. And then it's got a curved radius that goes round. So I'm going to create a arc. And I'm going to go three point arc, I think. Go there, go there. Drag that down. Something like that. We define the points that are height wise that you can copy. 0.15. Right there, 
actually, if I undo that, let's try making this tangent to that C. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go tangent to that. And that makes a nice curve there. We will undercut here slightly. But that shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't interfere with the bogey at all. Cool. I'm going to go with that. And then we need a centre circle through the middle. So that's an easy one. You just select that centre circle. And I'm going to go for 0.5 millimetres. 0.6 millimeters. Okay, then if we select these profiles, and make sure we get that little one. Yeah, we don't want that one because we need that to be a circle. So we're selecting that profile, that profile, and then the circle here. And then we're going to do right click and extrude. And I'm going to do join. And symmetrical extrusion. Click on OK. I'm just doing that to get rid of that slice because unfortunately there's no way, real way to get rid of that edit feature. And then we're going to have a look, see if I can find a photo of the side on, just to give us some sort of idea how that fits within the bogey to, to try and give us a full width. So this is probably the best photo we've got side on wise um, now looking at the position of these two they're sort of two thirds of the width of the center circle on the bogey here so uh, we've got 0.7 now i'm thinking maybe if we do 0.6 and then we click on ok what we need to do then is dig out the middle section here so that we've got the um, separation between the two parts so if we go back into the sketch, sorry, we want to get to the sketch here, then the back on, select the profile. I'm just holding down shift and hold down the left mouse button to get this drop down. Select that profile and then extrude again. do hold down the left mouse button to get that box, select the profile, same again, hold down to get the profile, and then same again there. So it's holding down shift and then I'm holding down the left mouse button to select that drop box. So now I've got that selected, I can do the extrude and then do uh, symmetrical and I'm just going to drag that out. I'm going to do 0.3 millimeters and cut. Click on OK, and that's given us the given us the two separate parts there. We can turn the sketch off to get rid of that middle part, and then that's those lifting lugs done. Now the interesting thing, which is slightly annoying, is on the power wagon. Let me just find the photo of it. We'll have to come back and remove those and do them again because the lifting lugs are the other way up. I'm assuming that's something to do with how the bogey is mounted, but it's just something that's going to be a little bit frustrating and means we have to change that a little further down the road. So we'll save that at that point. Okay, so the next thing we're going to work on is the four lights that come down the side. Now, obviously, we've only got to draw them. Um, the twice really because these are two different parts i could do them with different bodies and just move them we'll see maybe how we go with that um i do have a really nice up close photo uh, essentially what we've got is a metal shroud going over the, the front of a fluorescent bulb i would imagine inside um now we can't draw it exactly to detail because obviously printing an n-gauge it's not going to print particularly well but it's only really quite small um, and even if you were to print it in double O, it would make it really difficult to actually print the, the detail exactly as it should um, with it having a circle inside. 
So I'm just going to draw sort of, not quite a rectangle because this is angled, but sort of like a little rectangle, a little angled bit on the front just to give us that, that shape that we require for it. And I do obviously, you can see from this, I've got all measurements of it. So jumping back into Fusion, and if we look at this photograph here, we can see it's to the buffer beam end of the lifting locks that we've just drawn. And is it on the canvas it is? So it's going to sort of sit in this area here. But as I said, I'm going to draw a new sketch on that inside surface. And I'm just going to use a two point rectangle. I'm not going to snap it to the top or the bottom, so I need to make sure that they don't actually touch because otherwise it will just link into there. And just draw a rectangle coming across. Now, if we jump into this one, we can see that, it's that picture. Um, we can see that the length is 25 and a half inches. So we can obviously account for that as we draw it or 25 and a half or is that 65 millimeters. So, so drawing that across, make sure that you've got this blue box it's got the five millimeters in at the moment highlighted. So we're going to put 65 divided by 1.8. So 650 divided by 1.8. 65 centimeters it is. Okay, and height wise, haven't got the actual height itself. None of the photos show that. So I'm going to go for about 0.6 millimeters. So we tap across to highlight that one. Select 0.6 millimeters. We're going to define its position. So relevant to the top outside edge here. Point there. I'm going to go for 11 millimeters. And looking on this photograph, it's actually sitting closer to the bottom. So I'm going to define from that point to the inside edge and I'm going to change that to 0.2 millimeters and it just moves it down slightly. We can then select and extrude that profile. I'm going to select it as a new body and you'll see why in a second but essentially it's just to, to create the other one further down. Okay and we're going to come out, we have a quick look. It doesn't actually come outside that frame so we want to make sure we sort of stay inside. So we'll go for 0.5 millimeters. And let's say create that as a new body. Click on OK. And then I'm just going to draw a profile on the profile here. Slick slice. So I'm just drawing the end profile. And all I'm going to do is just put a slight little triangle in there. Define that dimension there. We're going to have 0.1 millimeter. You're not really going to notice it, but you will. You'll know it's there, oh, and it'll it'll be that angle that's on the front of it. And you can see here it's not actually chopped the end off. So I'm just going to go back into the feature. I'm just going to drag that a little bit further to make sure it does cut it off all the way. Okay, so we can see that we've now got that drawn there and we've done it as a new body so what I'm going to do now is copy that body and then if we do paste and then we can drag that along to where we want it on this one so oops, I don't want to turn it I want to move it let me undo that so you can see exactly how far I move it Drag that across. We're coming across 41 millimeters and we're going to come down by 0.8. So 41 to the left and 0.8 down. And that puts it in the position for this one. And then we can click on OK. So we've now got two light bodies created. And then we just do combine. Target body is body one. And then the tools body, we select four and five, and they then join that into that body. So we've now got the lights drawn on as well. Okay, so at this point, that's the side detail done that's all symmetrical. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at this point, and then we'll come back and um, 
model probably the top rail that the crane runs along on the next episode um, but i don't want to do any more detail on here and then have to make alterations to it a little bit further down the road so we'll leave it at this point hope you've been able to copy along with those two items and uh, if you did please like subscribe the video thank you